You might have heard that atoms are mostly empty space, this idea has been taught in classrooms and perpetuated in textbooks for generations. However, this is a common misconception that has misled many. In reality, atoms are not empty at all, they are incredibly dynamic and complex structures. Atoms are filled with the constant motion and energy of electrons, which move in regions called electron clouds. This misconception stems from an outdated model of the atom, which depicted electrons as tiny planets orbiting a nucleus. We once pictured electrons as tiny planets orbiting a nucleus, much like our solar system. This model was simple and easy to understand, but it was also misleading. This model, while useful for some basic explanations, fails to capture the true nature of atoms. The reality is far more intricate and fascinating. The truth is far more fascinating. Atoms are not static. They are dynamic entities with electrons that exist in probability clouds rather than fixed orbits. To understand why atoms are not empty, we need to delve into the strange world of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is the science that governs the behavior of matter at the atomic and subatomic level. It shows us that electrons do not follow simple paths, but exist in a state of constant motion and energy, filling the atom with activity and complexity. One of the most important things to remember about atoms is that electrons are not like tiny balls. They do not behave like miniature planets orbiting a sun. Instead, electrons are quantum objects. This means they have properties of both particles and waves. When electrons are bound to an atom, they exist in stable states. In these states, electrons act more like waves than particles. Imagine the strings of a guitar vibrating at specific frequencies to produce musical notes. Similarly, electrons in an atom vibrate in wave-like patterns, occupying specific energy levels. These wave-like patterns are called orbitals. They are fundamental to understanding the behavior of electrons in atoms. Think of it like a cloud, where the density of the cloud represents the probability of finding the electron at that point. The denser the cloud, the higher the probability. The shape of an orbital is determined by the energy of the electron. Higher energy levels result in more complex shapes. Different energy levels correspond to different types of orbitals, such as s orbitals, spherical, p orbitals, dumbbell-shaped, and so on. There are also d and f orbitals, which have even more intricate shapes. It's important to remember that the electron doesn't move from one side of the orbital to the other, it effectively is the orbital. The electron's presence defines the shape and size of the orbital. As we move across the periodic table, the number of electrons increases, and so does the complexity of the orbitals. Each element has a unique arrangement of electrons in its orbitals, which determines its chemical properties. When an electron transitions between different energy levels, it can absorb or emit energy in the form of photons. This is the basis for phenomena such as spectroscopy and the emission spectra of elements. Advanced scientific instruments such as electron microscopes and spectrometers allow us to study these orbitals in great detail providing insights into the fundamental nature of matter. Atoms have multiple orbitals, each with a specific energy level. Electrons fill these orbitals in a specific order, starting with the lowest energy levels. This is similar to how water fills a container from the bottom up. As more electrons are added to an atom, they occupy higher and higher energy orbitals. These orbitals extend further away from the nucleus. Do atoms ever touch? The answer lies in the quantum nature of particles. Atoms in a sense never truly touch. Instead they interact through electromagnetic forces. When you touch something what you're feeling is the electromagnetic repulsion between the atoms in your skin and the atoms in the object. This fascinating phenomenon is a cornerstone of quantum mechanics and helps explain why the concept of touch is more complex than it seems. Can we see atoms under a microscope? While traditional optical microscopes cannot resolve atoms due to their wavelength limitations, advanced techniques like scanning tunneling microscopy and atomic force microscopy allow us to visualize individual atoms. These methods rely on quantum mechanical principles to produce images at the atomic scale, providing a fascinating glimpse into the building blocks of matter. Atoms, despite their minuscule size, possess weight, a concept pivotal to our understanding of chemistry and physics. But how do we measure something so incredibly small? Let's delve into the fascinating world of atomic mass. The weight of an atom is primarily determined by its protons and neutrons, which reside in the nucleus. Electrons, although present, contribute negligibly due to their incredibly small mass. Each proton and neutron has almost the same mass, roughly one atomic mass unit, amu. However, not all atoms of an element, 
are identical. Isotopes are variants of a particular element that have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. This difference in neutron count alters the atomic mass, contributing to the diversity we observe in nature. We measure atomic mass using mass spectrometry, a technique that allows us to separate and analyze different isotopes. Atoms are the basic building blocks of matter, and they exhibit a variety of properties that determine the behavior of substances. Firstly, atomic structure is fundamental. Atoms are composed of a nucleus containing protons and neutrons, surrounded by a cloud of electrons. The arrangement of these electrons in various energy levels or electron shells is known as the electron configuration. This configuration is crucial as it dictates how an atom will interact with others. Next, we look at atomic mass which we've previously discussed. The mass of an atom is primarily determined by its protons and neutrons. However, it is the electron configuration that plays a significant role in chemical reactions. The properties of atoms also include their ability to form bonds which is determined by the electrons in their outermost shells. These bonds can be ionic, covalent, or metallic, each type resulting from different ways in which electron waves overlap and interact. Additionally, the physical states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, are influenced by atomic properties. For example, the way atoms are arranged and bonded in a substance affects its melting point, boiling point, and other physical characteristics. Atoms, though tiny, hold the secrets to the vast diversity of materials and phenomena in our universe. The wave nature of electrons is not just a theoretical concept, it is a fundamental aspect of quantum mechanics that has been experimentally verified through various scientific studies. For example, the reason why some elements are highly reactive while others are inert is due to the number of electrons in their outermost orbitals. Elements with nearly full or nearly empty outer orbitals tend to be more reactive, seeking to gain or lose electrons to achieve a stable configuration. The interactions between the electron orbitals of different atoms are what allow them to form chemical bonds and create the molecules that make up our world. These bonds can be ionic, covalent, or metallic, each type involving different ways in which electron waves overlap and interact. The principles of quantum mechanics extend far beyond the atom. They are essential for understanding a wide range of phenomena, from the behavior of light to the workings of stars. In fact, much of modern technology, including lasers, transistors, and even medical imaging, relies on quantum mechanics. The next time you use your smartphone, remember that its operation is based on principles discovered by physicists studying the strange world of quantum mechanics. The myth of the empty atom is a reminder that science is an ongoing process of discovery. As we learn more about the universe, we must be willing to revise our understanding and embrace new ideas. Education plays a crucial role in this process. By fostering curiosity and critical thinking, we can help dispel misconceptions and ensure that our understanding of the world is based on the best available evidence.